Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today what we're going to be looking at is something called translations. Now it's not translating in a, into a different language. This is all about moving shapes around. So if I'm having a little look at this little green L I've got here, a translation means I'm going to move it a certain direction across and followed by a certain direction up or down. Now to do this, we use what's called a translation vector. Now this is a column of two numbers and they indicate how far along we're going to move the shape and how far up or down we're going to move the shape. So if I'm looking at my brown column vector here of 5, 2, it means I'm going to move this 5 along, this green L, and then 2 up. Okay, the best way of doing it is to actually make a reference dot on one of the corners, count along five, one, two, three, four, five, count up two, one, two, and now this forms the new corner of the brown shape. So, what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna draw that shape just as we see the green shape, and that shows that I've translated my green shape into the brown shape at 5, 2. Okay, let's have a look at the blue one. Supposing now I'm going 0, 3. Well, 0 means I don't move it anyway in the across direction. It stays where it is. So I've just got to focus on the up and down direction. Now the 3 means I've got to move my green dot, my reference corner, up 3. 1, 2, 3. And then I simply draw the shape. And that's where my blue shape comes. Let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at the, the orange one now. So we put the blue pen away and the green one as well. So let's have a look at the orange one. This one say two along and minus three. So if we've got a minus number in the bottom, it means we go down. So again, counting, one, two along, one, two, three, down. And so then I draw my shape using my orange corner there to get the shape like that. Okay, a couple more to do, a couple more to do, do very well. So next thing, let's go and have a look at the red shape down here. So this time we've got to move minus eight and minus four. So minus eight actually means I move towards the window this time, on towards the door. So minus eight, um, and then down by four. So counting again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. And then I draw my red shape. There we go. And then let's have a look at the, the, the final one, which is the black one in the, in the top corner there. That is minus seven, so along towards the window again, and this time up four, counting again from my green corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, and my L shape, the black colored L shape, goes there. So, that is how we perform translations with a two number vector.